we're going to talk about the book, How to Feel a Real Golf Swing. This is by Bob Toskey and David Love Jr. They were both professional golfers early in their careers, but they are best known as golf instructors. Davis Love Jr. is also the father of Davis Love III, who was a very successful pro golfer in the 90s and 2000s. This book was originally published in 1988. This is the 1997 edition, so it's been published several times. You see that everything starts with a feeling of some body part. The author talks a lot about feel, but to be perfectly honest, there's a lot of technical stuff in this book. Now, it does a pretty good job of giving you a full golf swing. You know, I always like a book that presents a full swing system instead of just tips and tricks. So for that reason alone, this book is worth reading. The first couple of chapters, he focuses on how to learn by feel. Learn the motion, but also learn the feeling of the motion so you can reproduce it. Of course, that doesn't stop him from throwing in some technical tips, even in the early chapters. He also introduces this two-page chart showing all the phases of a golf swing which he will continually come back to. It's reproduced in every chapter. The next few chapters talk about each body part in isolation. The hands, arms, feet, legs, trunk, and eyes. Each chapter is focused on learning the right feel for that body part in the swing, but also gives you plenty of technical info and drills on how to perform the motion. This is not just a book about feeling, despite the title. Finally, he talks about putting it all together. He takes the previous chapters, which are about individual body parts, and talks about them as a whole. The last chapter is really filler. It's tips and tricks about playing on the course. Now, there's some good info there, but the book wouldn't have suffered if they had left it off. It's Lanyap. A few things I'd like to highlight. One, this is a relaxed arms pivot driven swing, something I like in a swing. On page 91 is a drill with a rod that is very similar to the pipe drill I recommend. In the head and eye section, he talks about turning your head during the swing, something I also talk about. In fact, the head section alone makes this book worth purchasing. It's rare to find a book that talks in detail about the role of the head in the golf swing, and he does a good job of it. He doesn't talk much about the hips, other than to say the hips don't lead in the back swing. You would think the trunk section would talk about the hips, but he doesn't. The book just kind of ignores the hips in the golf swing. Given that so much of golf instruction is focused on the hips, it's interesting that Toski and Love, who are both tour players and prominent teachers, have so little to say about the hips. Do they not focus enough on the hips? Or maybe other golf instructors focus too much on the hips. Now, I don't agree with everything in this book, but you know, nobody does. Honestly, I think most golfers would benefit from reading this book, and I recommend it.